part of the building brings a lot of light into the center of the building. The main floor is about 90,000 square feet, so it's very wide and, and uh, long. As we go up, the floors get a little bit smaller until the, the first or the fourth floor is the smallest um, that's just along 25th Street. We now have an indoor range, which is fantastic, because now we can use it 12 months out of the year instead of two or three months out of the year. This range is uh, designed by uh, consultants who have made police ranges before. We have 10 lanes. We traditionally uh, train eight to 10 people, so we'll be using um, exactly the amount that we need. We can house 60 people because some of the cells are, are double cells where you can house more than one person. We also have two handicap cells, um, which we don't have in our police building right now. Um, we have four telephone rooms. We have three breathalyzer rooms. Each of the cells are um, in ranges, so there's four ranges of cells. We, if they're being a little rowdy and we want to remove them but they're not being compliant, we can ask them to put their hands through there. We would handcuff them and then they would be secure when we opened up the door. We also got a refrigerated locker, so we want to take a look at this. Is that um, if you have a DNA sample or if you do a blood test from an impaired driver, um, that stuff should be refrigerated and so there's lockers that are uh, refrigerated as well. The dogs can go outside, so there's a outside panel as well. And then on the other side of that, there's a fence around it um, for a big run along the back of the building. Way more open and inviting for our customers, and that's what we wanted to do, is to have a, a building that looks inviting to the community, to come here not only to feel comfortable to report a crime or something, but to participate in events with us and have a space that they can access all the things they need in a, in a very quick and efficient manner.